The N20 Cola Pity was this close to being released, and the N20 Cola team was also this close to being released, but unfortunately, do I even have to say it again, Mattel didn't release them. I mean, look here in the 2009 Collector Guide, the N20 Cola Pity was listed right alongside the Vitaline Pity, who actually was released that year. I mean, the Vitaline Pity was even the number after the N20 Cola Pity, so it would have made more sense if they didn't release Vitaline, but released N20 Cola. We also have the Mood Springs Pity, who unfortunately didn't get released. I mean, that Pity looks really sweet up there. He looks awesome, but unfortunately, they just did not release any team members for the sponsor N20 Cola. But regardless of that, we're here today to focus on the racer Manny Flywheel. So now, let's get into today's suggestion video. Thank you for the suggestion, Dynaco Blue 43 I really do appreciate it, and although suggesting is currently closed, you can still make a birthday request if you haven't done so already. Just please let me know at least one month before your birthday. And now, let's get on with the review of N20 Cola, also known as Manny Flywheel. So this is actually one of my favorite piston cut racers because I really like the combination of the purple and green colors. It just looks really, really nice. Now, the team members that were previewed for N20 Cola had much more of a violet pink color to them. As you can see, they do not match at all. So maybe that was one of the reasons why they didn't release the team members because they just couldn't get the color correct. I don't really know for sure, but they did release the racer quite a few times. I actually got it the first time it was available, which was in a promotion back in 2009. You can ship in a bunch of the card backs, the UPC codes or whatever that is, and they shipped you out a free N20 Cola in an acrylic case. So it's actually a pretty good deal. I was really excited to get mine when it came. I was just a little kid back then. And then, of course, he was released a few other times, as with a Rubber Tire. And his most recent release was in 2014 in the Piston Cup series. And I did pick up an extra one because I wanted to have an extra Piston Cup racer of him. I always like collecting extras of the Piston Cup racers. So, of course, his sponsor or company is N20 Cola. So the logo has N2 Cola, kind of like H2O, but it's N2O, and then Cola, so it's like an energy drink, I would assume. And then there's like a green splash behind it. Now he is based off of the RPM body style, also Octane Game, which is kind of, you know, this body style right here. Now what's really interesting about him is that his rims are kind of like gray, with a white outline going around it. Now, in the card art, or I should say really in the movie, but also on the card art here, it kind of shows it being purple with a green rim. So I don't really know why they end up putting gray and white. At least they do have that added detail rim because some cars such as Retread or no stall, they don't have that trim around the rims when they are actually supposed to. I mean, RPM does as well, so maybe they just did it for this style model. I don't really know. But I also love the design on him. We can see this green stripe going along the side here that eventually fades into purple. Number 68, he has a bunch of other sponsors on the side here, such as Mood Springs, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasparin, Easy Idle, and Leakless. We have the N20 Cola on the back here as well, also behind the back window, and on the tail here it just says N20 Cola. He doesn't have any special saying or anything, which is kind of unfortunate, but not all the Piston Cup racers do. It's not a bad thing. Now one thing that really makes him interesting and unique from all the other Piston Cup racers is that he has five spokes in the back here on the back window whereas most racers only have two or three as you can see here with rpm he only has two so i don't really know why they did that it's very interesting i have to say it. it's a nice color it's a nice little pink color there 
So that's pretty cool. And that really is all for N20 Cola himself. I just wanted to show one other really cool reference that they had for Boost. His actually boost containers are N20 Cola here, so that is really, really awesome. I love how they kind of carried the racer sponsor over into some other aspects of the movie because I also believe that N20 Cola appeared somewhere else in either Cars, Cars 2, maybe even another Pixar film because, you know, they do that too. In Toy Story 3, I believe there were revolting batteries, so that is really cool. And that is all for Manny Flywood wheel aka n20 cola so thank you again dinoco blue 43 for the request i really do appreciate it and i hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be and i'll see you guys all on tuesday for another video hopefully it will be of the plain tango but i do not have him yet it's scheduled to come tomorrow so fingers crossed he actually does come because I'd love to review him for you guys on Tuesday. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.